Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. My sister and her husband are coming over for dinner with us. We're gonna have our corned beef, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, all the goodies. And I decided to make a dessert, and I don't make desserts very often unless I'm taking it somewhere. But this time I did, I found this recipe and I just have to do it because it sounds really good. I love pecan pie. I'm from Texas. I love pecan pie. This one sounded really good because it's cinnamon whiskey pecan pie. I normally make bourbon and it's really good. But cinnamon whiskey sounds really good. So that's what we're doing today. But I'm also going to show you, I had requests to show how I use some of these products that I bought from Azure Standard, and they were in the hauls, and I'll link to those. But one of the things I got in this last order was some whole wheat pastry flour. And I also bought the white soft wheat to make my own, but I haven't done that yet. But what this is, and this came in a bag, but I've got it, and the label just went perfect on here. This is whole wheat pastry flour that I got from them. So I'm going to make my pie crust using that. And then we're going to make this cinnamon whiskey pecan pie. So let's get started. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I have one and a half cups of this whole wheat pastry flour. And to that, I'm going to add half of a teaspoon of salt. And I just wanna mix that together. You can whisk it. I'm not gonna get out another thing that I have to wash right now. I don't mind washing the dishes, but we're hauling water outside after we wash, and that's the part that I don't enjoy. It's tough on my back. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I have four tablespoons of shortening. I'm going to add that. And we're going to cut that in and get flour all over the place. Why not? And we just want that mixed in pretty evenly. Okay, now I have six tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to roughly break this up. And then I'm going to use my fingers. Alright, I've got it well mixed in, but I left big chunks of butter, although most of it is pretty even, but there's these big chunks, and what that's going to give me is a nice, wonderful flaky crust. So now I have ice water. And I'm going to start out with a couple of tablespoons. And I'm going to just toss that together. And then I'm going to just gradually add a tablespoon at a time and toss it until I get a mixture that will hold together. And I don't want wet. I just want one that will hold its shape.
So I think we're almost there. Let's give it a try. That's it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is form this into a disc. Put it in some plastic wrap. And I'm going to refrigerate this for about half hour or so. Maybe longer. I want really nice cold dough to work with. There we go. You don't want to overwork it. The more you work it, it'll end up being tough. And we don't want, after this beautiful stuff, we don't want it tough. So I'm going to refrigerate this for a half hour or so, and then we'll come back and make the pie crust. Thankfully, my refrigerator was repaired Friday after a month and a half of not having my big one, just a tiny one in the garage. So I'm so grateful and blessed to have gotten my refrigerator back. Okay, so I'm going to lightly flour my board. and my rolling pin. And then I'm just going to get this rolled out to fit my pie pan. I have never worked with whole wheat pastry flour before, so this is a new experience. And I left this in the refrigerator. It was a little over half an hour. It may have even needed longer, although the recipe said that if you left it in over that, you would need to let it sit out for a few minutes. I don't think so. I think mine could have maybe used a little bit longer. Let's see if I can get this on here in one piece. It may have to be patched. I'm telling you, it's really loose. Well, 
Well, let's do something different. My dogs just went wild. They've been cooped up for a couple months now and not able to go out because of the mud. Okay. And I know this is going to have to be patched, but it's the flakiness and taste that I care the most about. Pretty is nice. All right, I think this is going to do it. Okay, so I've got it in here and I think this is going to be fine. So I'm just going to do quick fluting around the edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this prepared. This is going to go in the refrigerator while I get my filling made. So I'll bring you back in a few minutes. All right. This recipe is from Wide Open Eats and it's cinnamon whiskey pecan pie. It called for the refrigerated pie crust. I'm making my own. That's really the only difference I'm doing here. So I have three eggs. I'm just going to beat these till they're well broken up. And I have half a cup of sugar. And this is organic raw, that's why it's tan colored. Then I have half a cup, basically one stick of butter, half a cup that has been melted and cooled off. one cup of light corn syrup and I know this is GMO most of the time I am avoid anything like this but it's pecan pie I'm not gonna avoid it so I have one teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon of lemon juice A dash of salt, and we're just going to mix all this very well. And then we have three tablespoons of cinnamon whiskey, and I'm using Fireball, but there's other brands out there. Just get you a good cinnamon whiskey. So three tablespoons, and I'm going to stir in one cup of pecans. I probably chopped about three quarters of a cup and then I left some whole, because that's what I like. But you could chop them all or not, that's up to you. Now I'm going to get out my pie crust. And yay, my refrigerator's not just a work of art anymore. I'm so happy. You don't know how happy I am. 
I can reach behind me for something now instead of my garage. All right. So I've got this well mixed in. And I'm going to pour that in. Okay. Now I'm just going to put this in a preheated oven that is at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet, a baking sheet, just to make sure if it goes over, but I don't think I have to worry about that on this one. And I'm gonna bake this for 45 minutes to an hour, and I'll check the crust before then. So let me get to baking, and I'll bring you back when it's baked. All right, there it is. And it looks and smells so good. While it was baking, oh my gosh, it was wonderful. So, I'm not going to cut it right now. It's still hot, but also I'm going to have this tonight with my sister and my brother-in-law. But I'll come back and let you know how this turned out and how it looked inside. But, oh my gosh, it smells wonderful. <laughs> All right, here it is, and it looks beautiful. So, my Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey pecan pie and this smelled so good when I was baking it and I'm going to use my sister's a guinea pig she gets first piece and this is the crust I made from the soft wheat pastry flour. And we're using the fine china tonight because I'm still dealing with septic issues. So this will work. So Chris, you wanna give it a try? Yeah. So she's gonna have a taste. You have to tell us. Oh, wow. <laughs> she says it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, that's not a pretty piece, but I don't care. All right, here we go. That is really good. You can taste the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You don't taste alcohol. You just taste that cinnamon taste and the whiskey taste. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, this, this recipe is another keeper. So thank you for watching. And thank you for following along in Vicki's Country Home. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And put the, hit the little notification bell so you know when I do this stuff again. Thank you for watching. God bless. And we'll talk again soon.